Hi guys, JB64. Thought I'd say something different. Today I'll be um, going through the USP45 pistol, the first pistol in the series. The, um, oh, I forgot the name of the shotgun. The AA12. Remember before the screen came on. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm using the for body, body, body. Um, so today I'm actually not starting quiet because in the last few videos, the last episodes I started quiet. But today I'll be doing the interview on. Oh yeah, also I'll be doing an interview on the recon drone, advanced UAV, and stealth bomber. Three scores for today. I got first blood cooler. Um, so yeah, the I don't even know what civil is. The A12, so far, this has done a lot better than the other full automatic shotguns I've used. But, 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 it has a lot of ammunition. Okay, I start with quite a lot of ammunition, but originally this only starts with like two mags. It's just because I've got um, Scavenger Pro, which I did earn up to. I recommend Scavenger, because this runs out of, burns off ammunition. This doesn't start with much ammunition, it burns off fast. And you can't expect people to be using this gun. If you don't have scavenger, pretty much I wouldn't recommend using the gun. So it's going to be very... Or having a decent sidearm that can cover as your primary when you when you lose running out of ammunition. Either one or two. So the AA-12. Even... Oh, I don't survive very long, I need to put scavenger on. So even if you don't survive very long, like me, you still need scavenger. One way or the other. Um... The A okay, no, I said it. I've got nothing else to say. Extended mags, body blah. You don't know why extended mags are a good attachment, just go to the last video and explain why and all the other shopping related videos. I'm event I swear down next video I'm not gonna mention it at all. Assuming you've watched the last episode. In fact I might as well just talk. Um let's go on to my secondary weapon, which I actually haven't used at all in this gameplay. Unfortunately, because the thing is, is, it was either I chose a gameplay without a stealth bomber or a gameplay. Well, actually, no, I think. So, yeah, um, the SUV pistol. Pretty much, I had a suppressor for it because it looks cool. I did choose the suppressor, that's practically it. Um, I wish I could show you, but I don't have any. I might do another episode, personal episodes on it. Nah. I do horrible with pistols on the road. Um, I got nothing else to say about it. The USP 45 is good with a tactical knife or a U suppressor. That's what I feel like. Um, I'm saying um a lot in this series. Let's start with the recon drone. Pretty much, I wouldn't recommend this if you're going free for all because it's completely pointless. Because what the recon drone does is. I might actually do death streaks. Nah, nah, I won't do death streaks. Um, I might go off a final stand. Well, I might though. Final stand. Pretty much what it does is when you get wounded. You know how your screen would flash red normally when you're really, really wounded. Well, what I think I'm not sure about this, but I think this. Where instead of showing that, it puts you into final stand mode, which I kind of find counter effective. That's why I don't usually use this death, death streak. Oh yeah, I forgot. I got distracted over that. I might also explain Dead Man's Hand, pretty much C4, because that's the normal death streak I was using for all the other clips. I'm getting a lot of cheapness in this one. That's what it feels like. Pretty much what Dead Man's Hand does is when you get... This is, is not counter-effective like Final Stand, but... When you actually die, you can't get yourself back up though, because um, Final Stand can bring you back up if you survive it long enough. Um, Dead Man's Hand, pretty much what it does is. Um, um, pretty much you go to phone and then you can use the C4. If any nearby enemies you can kill with a C4, that's practically it. There's a stealth bomb. 
I kill myself with it, I think. Yeah, I did. Um, side, you wonder what my clang stands for? Pretty much, it stands for side arm, but I couldn't put, I wouldn't be able to put arm on because it sounds stupid. Um, so the recon drone, I might as well talk about it now. Pretty much what it does is allow you to tag enemies so your teammates can kill them. Go and kill them. That's why it's pointless, because if you don't have teammates, or even one partner, it's practically pointless. That's what it's for. Stealth Bomber, what it does, it's pretty much an airstrike that goes across the map, but it's stealth, and it's, I think, less escapable. Not because it's stealth, but because the airstrike is so big as well. Um, last but not least, the advanced UAV is pretty basic. What it does is pretty much show people's positions or where they're moving or where they're pointing. But this is actually a crappier version comparing to the Orbital Visa of Black Ops 2, which pretty much is advanced UAV, but two things. One, it can't be shot down. The other, instead of flashing across the map and seeing a move bit by bit like a UAV, it actually shows their live movements. On second thought, it makes it a bit of an overpowered star streak, as there's no way to prevent it except EMP or counter UAV. I think Ghost maybe, but I don't think Ghost does it either. That's why it's pretty unattackable, because people don't normally have a counter UAV or EMP on them. Because the like the more usually people use UAVs a bit, but all the other radar affecting things they don't use very much. Actually, I guess EMP is pretty common for MW3 as it's one of the three powerful score streaks out the special, not specialist, um, um, what's it called? Support, support, um, kill streak, what? Because there's air score, airdrop, my, this is not my personal favourite, I think my personal favourite will be stealth bomber. Because air score, airdrop can be counter effective. Um, plus, um, it's hard to get anywhere, so you don't barely get to use it. Um, so I've got nothing else to say, really. I guess see you in the next vid for more scar streaks on the specialist class and more shotguns and now pistols. And so, I will do perks and death streaks. I might just do them. In the, like, one video, like I did with the perks and wildcards and all that on, um, and Black Ops 2, I might do it then. In fact, I'm going to make it after this video. Jackboy64, not signing off. I'll... Actually, I'm going to, I want to make an excuse because I want to show you this gameplay. It's pretty good gameplay. I'm going to stop talking and I'll see you in the next vid. I'm going to stop at nine and a half minutes. Or if I get bored, just eight. And there's that racist claim tag. That's all I'm going to say, Jackboy64, see you in the next vid. That will hopefully upload before this one, actually. Because it will be much shorter.